Godzilla! Godzilla! So here we are, one week of shore diving at Bonaire's west coast. You just need a pickup, tanks, weights, stable rock boots and someone who's able to read this Cuba travel guide. Then you are absolutely ready to dive into Bonaire's famous underwater world, like at this northern place called 1000 Steps. Bonaire has been a marine park for decades, presenting healthy corals at almost every dive site. Diving Bonaire's west coast means that you are practically always diving at the same shore reef. Here in the southern area, the reef's drop-off lies more away from shore, compared to the northern and central places. The Hilma Hooker. Once a truck trafficking boat, it had been confiscated by local authorities and then sunk on purpose for becoming a diver's pleasure. Even during high season, you and your buddies may be lucky enough to visit this wreck completely on your own. And now, honeys, let's take a walk on the wild side. Bonaire's East Coast. You better don't dive here without any local experts who exactly know when to dive and where to enter and exit the water. Cliff, one of Bonaire's central dive sites, which can be found in or right outside the main town of Kralendijk. Most of these places are located in touristic resorts or at public beaches. So very often there's also an easy entrance for divers. Yes, Bonaire is a windy, windy place. Which makes silence in the silent world even more silent. Something negative has to be pointed out now. If you are a diver who has already seen some other reefs on the planet, you may find that Bonaire sites, well, they are not really filled up with fish life. But okay, with a bit of luck and some local research, you could be happy to discover these guys. We found this bait ball at Pink Beach and it has already been seen a couple of times before at some other southern sites. So just look out for dark, slowly moving spots in the lagoon's water before you start your dive. Just the best for the rest.
Bonaire's salt beer deserves its well-known reputation. It's not just a very unique place for diving, it's a biosphere for its own. Where prey meets predators, and divers meet both of them. <laughs> <laughs>